breaking. We have lost confidence in the army, says Ohaneze Youth. Welcome to today's news. The Ohaneze Youth Council Friday demanded the immediate release of Nollywood star Chiwetalo Agu, saying his arrest was a threat to the Igbos. Comrade Igbo Ayaka, the national president of the council, stated this in a message to the Whistler. He recalled that the council had at during a Wednesday meeting, Inanugu expressed disappointment in the manner of his arrest, stressing it had eroded the confidence of the people in the army. He said Chiwetalu Agu, Agu's human fundamental right was violated with impunity and such as raised provocation to the over 100 million Igbo around the globe. He therefore demanded the immediate release of Chiwetalu Agu to give peace a chance as well as an unreserved apology from the Nigerian army. According to him, the council was as lost trust and confidence in the Nigerian army to bring peace in the southeast. The service of the Nigerian military in the Operation Golden Door will be characterized with zero patriotism and with, with how Chief Chiwetalu Agu was treated in the viral video. If the operation lasts for 30 months as planned by the military, over 1 million Igbo may be slaughtered. He advised the Nigerian government, Southeast governors, traditional rulers, and religious leaders to rise now and demand immediate redeployment of Nigerian army back to their various barracks, describing Operation Golden Dawn as a Greek gift. Igbo Ayaka stated that what happened to Chinwita Luago is the normal intimidation harassment and the abuse of the fundamental human right that Indigo have been facing since 51 years of the end of the Nigerian Civil War. The group said the army did not come to the southeast to make peace, adding that their presence will escalate the security challenges and will be a threat to civil society. The Oaneze Youth Council on Friday, demanded the immediate release of Nollywood star Chiwetalo Agu, saying his arrest was a threat to Igbos. Comrade Igboyaka O, Igboyaka, the national president of the council, stated this in a message to the Whistler. He recalled that the council had, during a Wednesday meeting, in Enugu expressed disappointment in the manner of his arrest, stressing it had eroded the confidence of the people in the army. He said Chen Wetalu Agu's human fundamental right was violated with impunity and such as raised provocation to the over 100 million people around the globe. He therefore demanded the immediate release of Chen Wetalu Agu to give peace to a chance as well as an unreserved apology from the Nigerian army. According to him, the council has lost trust and confidence in the Nigerian army to bring peace in the southeast. The service of the Nigerian military in the Operation Golden Dawn will be characterized with zero patriotism and with how Chief Chinwetalu Agu was treated in the viral video. If the operation lasts for 30 months as planned by the military, over 1, 1 million Igbo may be slaughtered. He advised the Nigerian government, Southeast governors, traditional rulers, and religious leaders to rise now and demand immediate redeployment of Nigerian army back to their various barracks. Describing Operation Golden Dawn as a Greek gift, Ibrahaka stated that what happened to Chiwita Luagu is the normal intimidation, harassment, and the abuse of the fundamental human right that in that indigo have been facing since 51 years of the end of the nigerian civil war the group said the army did not come to the southeast to make peace adding that their presence will escalate the security challenges and will be threat to civil society now we've come to the end of our today's news now before i go in my opinion to this i believe what the nigerian army has done is very wrong how how was it wrong when someone was putting on a biafral outfit 
are we are we are we are we being denied of putting on any uniform um as a matter of fact he is not putting on a army uniform to impersonate them he's not putting on an armorable clothes or any courtesan uniform which i feel he, he should be dealt with but he's just putting on a behavioral outfit just to be a human um humanitarian service which the army has come to harass and abused him in a very wrong way moreover nigerian army are meant for war this is a civil matter going on in the states presently which i don't expect the army to interfere as at now it is a police matter police should, police people should be deployed there instead of nigerian army it is not war already are these people trying to ravage a war this is war coming here i have a few comments here that says all over nigeria it is only in Igbo land you will see army in the road imagine here is another comment that says nigerian army is a terrorist organization no trust no trust on them and here i have another comment that says certain soldiers in the nigerian army are not happy the way federal government are treating us and our people we are not slave in the barracks again our people have been killed silently let this country be divided now for the sake of peace and progress of each region enough is enough for the plan to wipe out entire southern house we all believe even breakup is not the option not just for us the breakup is not the option but with the way things are personally we are we've started feeling insecure even with our security agencies and what we felt is that breaking up is the option which is not which is never the option yeah i have a comment that says lost trust on army but put all your trust in criminals gunsmen that kill you every day and put you in the under directs that's nonsense i believe this person is not in that state if he had been in the states living for maybe a month he would have known what he's saying here is another comment that says military should go on and face Boko Haram, not Igbo land. Police can do the civil disorder here in East, not for military to come and start intimidating and killing innocent people like Python dance or whatever they call it. Another comment here says, the mistake you so-called educated people from Southern Nigerians always make is by calling these full and these criminals in uniform. Nigerian army they are they are not in says i don't understand this says the mean the mistake you so-called educated people from southern nigerian always make is by calling these fulanis criminals in uniform nigerian army they are not they are always in protection of fulanis interest anywhere in nigeria how many fulani ads man that are killing people all over nigerian